indirect variation if a quantity y varies directly as x this is how it is written y varies directly as x when y increases x will increase now the same is for when x increases y will also increase and when y decreases x decreases the same when x decreases y will decrease and the ratio of y to x will give us a constant k this is the definition of direct variation so this is how it is written when y varies directly as x we write y is proportional to x y varies directly as x so when we convert this into the equation form here y is y varies directly as x y is not equals to x so when we make it into an equation we need to add the proportionality constant or the variation constant k so it becomes y equals to kx now let's look at an example of a question that we can ask so given that y varies directly as x so this is the first information that we have this is what we write down first y varies directly as x and y is 10 when x is 30 write the direct variation in the form of an equation so from the variation y varies directly with x we go to the equation form when we go to the equation form we need to add proportionality constant so y equals to kx now when we get to so we need to find the value of k so in order to find k rearrange the equation we get k equals to y over x y over x so if we use the values given to us y is 10 and x is 30 so that will give us 10 over 30 which gives us 1 over 3 so now that we know that k is 1 over 3 substitute the value of k back into the equation this equation so the final answer we get is y equals to 1 over 3x now this is the same type of question as before pause the video and try it yourself so again y varies directly as x so we write y varies directly as x then we find the equation y equals to kx rearrange the equation to find k y over x so which is 42 over 6 which gives us 7 and substitute the value of k back into the equation we get y equals to 7x now this is another type of question they can ask so here again given y varies directly as x and y is 21 and x is 7 so from the previous uh, examples we know that we can find the equation of y that relates y to x with all this information given to us and that is the first question so this is a guided question they've already told you what to do actually so the first thing to do will be the same thing find the value of k so 21 and 7 21 over 7 which gives us 3 so the equation that we get is y equals to 3x so this is our equation now the second part of the question find the value of y when x is 6 now here we know that when x is 7 y is 21 now they want you to find the value of y when x is 6 so how to do that so we already have the equation that relates y to x y is equals to 3x in this question so what we need to do when we want to find the value of y with the given value of x all we have to do is substitute x equals to 6 into the equation so it will become y equals to 3 times uh, 6 this is 6 huh? so we will get 18 so for c the, they ask you to find the value of x when y is 36 so once again we have the equation that relates y to x y is equals to 3x all we have to do is substitute y equals to 36 into the equation and we can find the value of x so when we substitute y equals to 36, 36 equals to 3 times x. Rearrange this equation, we get x equals to 36 divided by 3, which is 12. So pause the video and try this question yourself. It's the same style. So let's get to it again. So this is, uh, again, the equation relating y to x the same way write y equals to kx rearrange find the value of k which is 9 you should have gotten 9 so y equals to 9x 
Now they ask you to find the value of y when x is 4. Substitute x equals to 4 into the equation that we got from earlier, y equals to 9x. So y equals to 9 times 4, which is 36. For c, find the value of x when y is 81. Same method, y equals to 9x, we substitute the value of y, y is 81. So when we rearrange this equation, we get x equals to 81 divided by 9, which is 9. Now, when we compare to the straight line equation, so the general form for the straight line equation is y equals to mx plus c. Now, when we compare our equation of direct variation here, y equals to kx, okay, we notice a few things. One, you notice that m, the gradient, is k. So k is actually the gradient of the straight line y equals to kx, and the y-intercept c is 0. So, this is the graphical representation of a direct variation, y equals to kx. So, the gradient, when we find a gradient, it will give us the value of k, and the y-intercept must be 0 for it to be a direct variation. Now, we also can be, uh, y can also vary directly as x to the power of n. Okay, and n can take many values, uh, half, one, two, three, and so on. It can be a fraction, it can be a whole number, as long as it is not zero. So, when we have y varies directly as x to the power of n, we get the equation y equals to kx to the power of n. Now, it's very important to notice here that y varies directly as x to the power of n here, and not x. So, when we draw the line, when you draw a straight line, for example, y, is, y varies directly as x cubed here. So, we get y equals to kx cubed. Now, the relationship between y and x cubed is a direct variation. So, this we will still get a straight line. But your x-axis will be x cubed, not x. Okay? If you write x here, if you draw a graph of y against x, then, of course, we will get a cubic graph. We will not get a straight line. So, please take note of that.